What's going on guys, it's Suck and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you the results that I got when benchmarking the 2020 i3 MacBook Air. If you are interested in seeing what it's like to play games on this particular MacBook Air, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of when I upload that video. But without any further ado, let's hit the titles. The first test that I ran on this MacBook Air was Geekbench 5. Now Geekbench gives a score for single and multi-threaded tasks and after these have been performed it will then give a score based on its performance and the time taken to perform them. Now the score that I got for the single core side of things was 942 whereas for the multi-core I got a score of 1976. Now once again, using Geekbench 5, I ran the compute test to see how well the OpenCR engine ran through Geekbench. And as you can see, the score that I got for this test was 5,401. The next test I ran was once again from Geekbench 5 and it was from their compute lineup of tests, this time testing how well the Metal engine ran on this MacBook. And with this, I got a score of 6,087. Now once again, I used Geekbench, but this time Geekbench 4, which is a slightly older version of Geekbench, but it should be good enough to at least give comparison between older models of Max. Now with Geekbench 4, I got a single core score of 4,506 and a multi-core score of 9,502. And once again, using Geekbench 4, I ran their compute test to see how well the OpenCR engine ran using Geekbench 4. And with this, I got a score of 33,051. Whereas for the Metal lineup of tests, I got a score of 28,695. The next test that I ran was from GFX Bench. Now GFX Bench runs a number of different tests which vary from higher and lower levels of intensity. And in the interest of saving time, I've averaged these results. But of course, I will show you guys each individual result. Now the average that I got for each higher intensive graphical task was around 42.42 frames per second. Whereas with the lower intensive tasks, I got a slightly higher frame rate of around 64 0.23 frames per second. Next up, I ran an internal SSD speed test, and with this, I got a read speed of 1,372 megabytes per second and a write speed of 1,112 megabytes per second. Next up we have NovaBench. Now NovaBench is a good general benchmark as it tests not only the CPU and the GPU but it also tests the storage and the system memory. Now with this test I got a score of 965. Next, I ran Cinebench. Now, Cinebench is a good benchmarking program as it tests each individual thread and then gives them a score similarly to how Geekbench gives a score based on the time taken to complete the task. Now, with this MacBook Air, I got a score of 634. Next, I did a timed export with Final Cut Pro, exporting a five minute, 24 second video file to H.264 at both Full HD 1920 by 1080 and 4K being 3840 by 2160. It is worth noting that I did test this with background rendering turned off. Now the HD export came in faster at around five minutes and 41 seconds. Whereas as you would expect, the 4K export took a little longer at around six minutes and 16 seconds. The last series of tests that I performed came from Unigen. The first of these was their Heaven benchmarking test, which is a heavy CPU and GPU test, which will then give a general score based on its performance and then an average frame rate for rendering out a particular scene. Now with this, I got a score of 516 with an average frame rate of 20.5.
Once again, from Unigen benchmarking tools, the last test that I performed was the Valley test, which performs very similarly to the previous test. Now with this, I got a score of 894 and an average frame rate of 21.4 frames per second. So that has been it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of when I upload my next video. If you have got any questions with anything you've seen in this video, then be sure to leave them down below in the comment section, or alternatively, you can hit me up on my social media, links to which can be found down below in the description. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.